I can't imagine having to wear so many jackets. I think she had about four of them on. Yeah. Well, speaking of the number four, you only need four ingredients to make the, these delicious peanut butter crispy treats that Tando's about to show us how to make. And it really is to give you that weekend treat and feel, even though it's only Thursday today. So Chef Tando, take us through these fun steps because I'm seeing marshmallows. I've already tucked into the marshmallows. Yeah, I had to. You hold on to the yeah. bowl so that we actually had ingredients left to work with. Yeah. But we've got the four <laughs> ingredients in front of us. Super simple. So it's butter, peanut butter, marshmallows and rice crispy treats. And they all just, you pretty much just put everything in the pot and it's done. It's super simple. You can get the kids involved. So I'm going to start with adding the butter. And this is always one of those things where I feel like you can't step away from the stove. You need to constantly work at it. Otherwise, things burn and then you've wasted yes. your ingredients. Yes. You just also just want to make sure it's all melting properly. Mm. You know, like you don't want it to not do the correct things. Of course, of course. Now, of course, Tando, you saw um, Shimmy and uh, Kat getting dressed in the dark. Yes. Of course, we've all been affected by load shedding. What have been some of the things that you've done to just, you know, make load shedding fun? I mean, I nap. <laughs> <laughs> Every time the power goes off, it's like, it's my opportunity to sleep. Because yeah. everything is off <laughs> and chances are I'm tired. So I'm like, I nap and then I wake up. But also like reading, I feel like it's always a great time. Like put down your phone, mm. open a book, get some other knowledge. It's like a good time for me. It's almost like a detox time to like switch off. Okay. And just okay. chill. But like yeah. sleeping is definitely my go-to. You know, I find that too. Like yeah. especially if you come home and you know, like, you know, working till seven, get home at hopper seven. If load shedding's at eight o'clock, I'm like, okay, I'm going to bed early tonight. <laughs> Escom will send you to sleep. <laughs> One thing Escom will do is send you to sleep. There we go. Yeah. So we're going to add our marshmallows as well. And then that's going to melt. It's going to take a bit of time just to get those marshmallows melting. And you obviously want to do this over a slow heat. Yes. Low and slow, nicely. Just get that beautiful melt. And it takes a while, but they do. It gets there. It gets there. Yeah. So do you, um, I have to ask you, so at home, do you have a gas stove so that you're able to still cook during load shedding or are you one of those that now have to find alternative cold listen, foods to eat? Listen, this is actually, it's a popular opinion among chefs. So chefs, the food we make for others is not the food we make for ourselves. Okay. I have an electric stove. So <laughs> when the power goes off, I don't mind to not cook for myself because I don't cook for myself. I'm always like very much like guests are here. Let me cook for everyone. And so then for, for myself, it's always like, ah, but ah. So what do you eat? Like sandwiches? I, eat, sam I eat sandwiches. I'll have tea, lots of tea. How do you make your tea if there's no <laughs> electricity? I mean, I mean, okay, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, we are talking about ESCOM. Yes. I thought we were just talking about in general now. No, 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 we are talking about when the power is off. How does Tando feed herself? <sighs> I sleep. I don't eat. I sleep. Hi, Paul, we must be very worried about you when it's stage four. But Tando is going to, like, not sandwiches. eat. Sandwiches and salad. Salad is a good one as well. Okay. Chop up some things in the fridge. Also, it helps. You don't want things to go off. So chop True. up that veg that is hidden in those drawers. So, so are you basically indirectly thanking ESCOM for allowing you to not waste ingredients that's in your fridge yes. so that you are more eco-conscious? Exactly. It helps me eat healthier. Because the only things you can eat when there's no power is fruits and vegetables. That's, that's if you don't have a gas if you stove. D if you don't have a gas stove. Do you have a gas stove? I do. That Must was the first thing nice. I had to do. No, that was the first thing I did. I was like, I need to be able to have a cup of coffee and, 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 and be able to feed myself. So that was one of the first things go. I had to do. Okay, look at that. So now you simply just add the, the rice. The rice crispy treats. And then we're going to fold that all together. And I've got a grease tin here lined with some baking apartment oh. sheets. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, it's come together really nice. And, and it comes together quite quickly. Like Very once everything quick. has melted, you simply mix in your Rice Krispies and then make sure everything's covered. There we go. Do you need me to hold yes, anything please. for you? Okay, it's there not hot, tilt. so I'm gonna tilt it for you. And then we just get that in. And then once this is in, do you simply pop it in the fridge or it allow it to cool down outside the fridge? Pop it in the fridge for about two hours and it should be cool even overnight. You could prepare this even like a day before and then 
the following day, snacks already, I think. Did I get all of it? Yeah. Yes, you there did. You Fantastic. Well, we have this recipe available for you. It's on our, uh, I nearly said our WhatsApp line. In fact, it's <laughs> on our website, expressoshow.com. And as you can see, we've got some great Rice Krispie treats over here. Even on the website, you'll see a picture where you can actually dip these in a bit of chocolate or yogurt yes. as well. So I'm gonna give it a good taste. Let me know. Mm. That's the beautiful thing about a Rice Krispie treat. It's crunchy and chewy and it just hits the spot. Mm. Thandor, thank you. If you want to get your hands on this recipe, it is available at expressoshow.com.